has docked in the Philippine capital of Manila. It's on a five-day visit, carrying out what officials have called a routine mission. The ship will be patrolling some of the hotly contested areas of the South China Sea, but it comes at a time when some Southeast Asian nations have been voicing concern over China's increasing presence there as it continues to build on reclaimed islands, as ILO reports from Manila. A jet rolls onto the flight deck of the USS Carl Vinson, one of the U.S. Navy's longest-serving active carriers, as it patrols the hotly contested waters of the South China Sea. So there are 72 aircraft aboard the USS Carl Vinson. It's a mix of strike fighters, helicopters, and rotary aircraft. This changes per schedule. On average, every 90 minutes, there are about 15 takeoffs. The Carl Vinson is currently conducting what officials say is a routine mission through the disputed waters where China continues to build on reclaimed islands in disputed seas, creating concern across the region. Its presence in these waters is a statement of intent. U.S. presence matters. I think it's very clear that we are in South China Sea. We're operating. Um, we're very vocal about that. We're not hiding ourselves and we're, we're making uh, port visits. We're talking to you. So we're just saying the United States is here. We're operating professionally. And think about this. The nations in the Pacific are maritime nations. They value stability. They value the ability to have their goods and services move freely throughout the area here. So in terms of promoting prosperity and stability, that's exactly what we're here for. So The aircraft carrier is now just off the Philippines for the first time in about four years. It will soon dock in Vietnam, a first for the communist nation, which has also expressed concern over China's expansionism in the sea. Beijing claims most of the South China Sea, through which $5 trillion in trade passes annually. Over the last few years, it has been rapidly building artificial islands and military structures on disputed areas. Some of these territories are also claimed by the Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Malaysia and Brunei. Despite these moves from China, one of the main claimants, Philippines, has taken a step back in the dispute. Philippine President Duterte said recently it was not time to fight China over the row. The Carl Vinson hosted top Duterte aides and Philippine military officers ahead of its arrival in the Philippines in another effort to demonstrate strong U.S.-Philippine relations after a tense year under the Duterte administration. Um, we keep working with our allies. Uh, it is very important because uh, uh, we are in the midst of uh, uncertainty, especially uh, especially in the, the field of uh, national security and uh, the uh, prevalence of uh, terrorism and violent extremism. As the reason looks at the best way to diplomatically tackle the issue of militarization of islands in the South China Sea, for some, the presence of the U.S. in these waters does come as a reassurance for its old allies. ILO Channel News Asia, Manila. In Indonesia.